In this lecture, we're going to show how to create broken oath section. With broken oath section, we can expose inner detail of our model. So we have this model and we know what is inside because we created this model. But if someone is reading this circle, we want to know that that person will know that something is inside. And we want to show that. We can use section view as well. But if we don't need a cross section, then we can use broken out section. We can apply broken out section to isometric view and to the orthogonal view. So let's go to view layout. And here we have broken out section. When we click on broken out section, nothing happened at first. You don't notice anything. But if you move your mouse, you see the cursor has changed to spline. So first you have to create a spline. So let's go here to our isometric view and let's create a spline, something like this. And on the left side, we have to define depth. We have two ways how to define depth. We can use an existing edge and then we have to use this dialog box or we can go with numerical value. First, we're going to show with numerical value. So instead of 10, Let's go with 70. And here we can check preview. And now we can see the preview and OK. And now the person who is reading our drawing knows that there is something inside. We can also apply broken out section to orthogonal view. So let's go to broken out section and let's create a spline here like this. OK, but now instead of numerical value, we're going to use existing edge. So we're going to choose this edge here like this. We can click preview and OK. And now we see what is inside. So this is a really simple tool that can expose the inner details of our model. As well, we can edit broken out section. We can edit depth. So we can, instead of edge, we can use numerical value or vice versa, and we can edit our spline. So if we go to our tree on the left side, we have drawing view one, and we see, this is this one, we see the highlighted rectangle. Let's click on this arrow, and here we have broken out section. Now we see our spline. Let's right click on it, and here we have two options. We can edit definition and we can edit sketch. Let's first edit definition. So instead of edge, we want to use numerical value. So right click here and delete. And now here we can put 60. And OK. And this is it. Now we want to change our spline. So let's go again here, right click and edit sketch. And now we can move our sketch here like this like this and okay and we don't see changes now so let's go here rebuild rebuild and now we see our changes and this is how you can create broken out section